50 meters now separating progress from the pier's docking compartment. This view from the external cameras uh, on the progress looking right down the barrel of the pier's uh, docking compartment. Again, it uh, serves uh, as both a docking port for arriving Russian vehicles and an external airlock for Russian-based spacewalks from the station. At 30 meters, Yuri. Activate operation. Plus X and our backup closed. Copy. Yuri, how did you copy? Please acknowledge. I copied at 30 meters operation and our valve closed. The, our valve closed. The International Space Station and the progress traveling over northern Africa, about to cross uh, over the Mediterranean. Everything right on track for docking some 16 minutes from now, or perhaps earlier, if the progress is properly aligned. The target is in the center. The deviation is about half degree. No misalignment of crosshairs. We are approaching 30 meters. Operation on. Our all valves closed. I can I see uh, internal and external indicators. Send the command to close. And I saw the blinking of the indicators. Copy. Ascendant uh, valve closed command. The uh, external indicators uh, were blinking, but the internal ones did not. Copy. And the visiting vehicle officer reports uh, about 20 meters separating progress and the pier's docking compartment, and uh, the core's antenna has properly retracted, setting the stage uh, for contact and capture between the progress's forward docking probe that you can see at the bottom of your screen. Uh, and the uh, docking mechanism on the piers. Copy, page 24. The crosshairs uh, will wind up uh, being aligned with that uh, crosshair target that you can see right at the bottom of the docking port for piers. Range rate is 0 0.19 by course data. Up. Target is in the middle. No crosshair misalignment. Less of the half of the width is in the your channel. Copy. Inaudible. Uh, range approaching 10 meters. 10 meters now separating uh, the two spacecraft. And closing, see the roll. A few degrees, but the roll is decreasing. No crosshair misalignment, there is a bias. Zero point seven. Crossing over southern Europe, less than 10 meters separating the two craft, standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Still have a little bit in the roll. Uh, no crosshair misalignment and less than half degree in your copy. Good alignment reported. Uh, the range is about three meters, slight roll bias. Copy. No crosshair misalignment. Uh, there is a tendency for a uh, roll uh, decrease. Everything is nominal. Okay, we feel the contact. Contact and capture. Docking confirmed at 2.14 a.m. Central Time. We monitor the capture. The International Space Station now in free drift, all thrusters uh, currently disabled, while the relative motion between the two vehicles dampens out.
Again, an early arrival of holiday gifts. One day after Christmas for the residents of the International Space Station, docking occurring at 2.14 a.m. Central Time over Southern Europe. Do not deactivate operation mode yet. Copy. Here in the flight control room uh, at the Johnson Space Center, the visiting vehicle officer, Tony Foti, reports that the progress docking probe has begun to retract as planned. Uh, that uh, will enable a hard mate uh, between the two vehicles and will enable the initiation of the uh, latching of hooks and latches uh, between both sides of the docking interface uh, to complete uh, today's docking. At that point, uh, the crew will uh, press ahead uh, with a period of leak checks at the docking interface between the two vehicles before the uh, hatch to the progress is opened uh, at about 5.30 central time this morning. Following that, uh, the crew will begin to unload its cargo, uh, which again uh, includes two and a half tons of food, fuel, supplies, and holiday gifts, including almost 2,000 pounds of propellant, 110 pounds of oxygen, and just under 3,000 pounds of dry cargo that uh, would include uh, spare parts, life support system equipment, experiment hardware, and again, the holiday gifts for the crew. The progress systems will be deactivated about 6.30 central time this morning. The docking mechanism will be removed by the crew. They uh, then will press ahead for a regular day's worth of activities that will include physical exercise, some experiment work, systems maintenance, the crew will begin an extended 10-hour sleep period at 3.30 Central Time today and will be awakened on Thursday at 1.30 a.m. Central Time to resume its normal complement of activities. Loud and clear. Copy. We also copy loud and clear. Let's start working uh, on page 27. Copy page 27. This progress is uh, scheduled to remain at the International Space Station through the early February time frame. And once again, uh, okay, the progress's arrival at the Piers docking compartment is designed so that the aft end of the Zvezda service module can remain open and available for the scheduled launch in February of the European Space Agency's Jules Verne Automated Transfer Vehicle.